What's up everyone? Welcome back to the Vegan Test Kitchen. Tonight we're making empanadas. That's right, it's empanada night. We're making acorn squash and black bean empanadas. You're in for a treat. If you don't know what an empanada is, it's essentially dough filled with deliciousness and baked and or fried, I suppose. Does that not sound delightful? All the ingredients that you need are listed below. Let's get started. First thing you wanna do is set your oven to 400 degrees. Then you wanna combine your dough ingredients. We have our flour, cornmeal, salt, baking powder, and sugar. Then cut into this our vegan shortening. You wanna make sure it's cold. And we're only gonna do like a tablespoon at a time, or that much. Now do this till it's nice and pebbly. Now we're gonna combine our apple cider vinegar into our half a cup of very cold water. And we're gonna combine this in three batches. You're gonna add just a little bit more water until it starts getting doughy and pinchable. All right, we're just gonna knead this a couple times gently to make sure everything's incorporated. Perfect. We're gonna lightly flour our workstation and we're gonna roll this out to an eight by five inch rectangle. All right, that looks good. All right, now you want a pretty large piece of parchment paper. So what you're gonna do is put your dough on here. We're gonna wrap this up in saran wrap and then stick it in the fridge for an hour. Now we're gonna roast our acorn squash. So cut it in half. We're gonna scoop out the innards, grease a pan. And we're gonna put our squash this side down. And stick it in the oven for 50 minutes. We have about 20 or so minutes left, so let's go ahead and start chopping our veggies. Now we're gonna cut these into one inch pieces, so don't get crazy. Now before I occupy too much of this cutting board, we're gonna smash our coriander seeds in a Ziploc bag. Now we need two jalapenos. It's up to you how spicy you want them, so remove as many seeds as you want. I'm gonna leave a few seeds in there because I want mine a little spicy, I just don't want to die. And we need two tablespoons of lemon juice. This is one of the largest lemons I've ever seen. This came courtesy of Val and Jim and Bonnie. Thank you very much. You can also use lime if you want. I think our squash is done. Perfectly pierceable. I feel like that should be a band name. Now you're gonna leave your oven on because we're gonna cook the empanadas in there. In the meantime, we're gonna let our Squash, cool on a plate. We're gonna start on our filling. So grab a skillet, put in your olive oil, and set it to a medium high. Throw in your onions and your jalapenos, and we're gonna saute this for about five to seven minutes until it's softened. In the meantime, grab your squash. We're gonna take the skin off, and we're gonna cut it into three quarter inch chunks. All right, we have softened. Now add the coriander seeds and the garlic. Saute this for a minute. Now we're gonna add our cumin, our salt, and a few splashes of water. Mmm, mmm, that cumin. Now it's smelling like it should. Now add our squash. Grab your black beans. You only need a cup. Add these to the skillet. And we're gonna heat this through. And if it starts getting too dry, which is, I feel like it is, add a little bit more water. We don't want it to burn. And lastly, we're gonna add our lemon juice or lime, and our maple syrup. We're gonna stir this through and turn it off. Fun fact, empanadas originated in Spain and they're most popular in Latin American and Spanish speaking countries. Traditionally, they were thought to be very convenient little pockets of food that workers could take with them. Fun fact, I've never eaten one. So obviously I've never made one either. So if I can do it, you can too. Now our dough should be ready. So we're gonna grab a baking sheet, make sure it's greased up real good. Grab your dough from the fridge and we're gonna roll this into a nine by 12 inch rectangle. All right, I think we're good. We're gonna make this into an even rectangle. 
as much as possible. We're gonna do four cuts across. See, this has four cuts across and then two cuts lengthwise, but that's 15 squares. So really you should be having four columns. So I guess just three cuts across. We are still doing two cuts lengthwise. We're going for three inch squares here. So do what you need to do. Aside from those, these look pretty good. Well, maybe this is really what we need. Uh, I don't know. Anyway. All right, apparently we're supposed to roll this even more. So you got one square. We're supposed to roll this to like a six inch square. That looks good. We're gonna have one end pointing towards us. If you can't tell, these aren't uh, half moons. They aren't, they aren't circles. So they're gonna be a little bit, you know, differently shaped. Everybody makes empanadas differently. We're gonna put about two tablespoons of filling near the bottom. And then you're gonna pull the top half over this. You might need to stretch it a little bit. Make sure you don't tear. Granted, this is my first one. The next one will be better. See, it's ripping a little bit right there, but we're not gonna worry. We're gonna take a fork, crimp it, make sure that it's closed, and then put it on our baking sheet. And you wanna keep doing that. Might be filling these a little bit too full too, so be careful with that. And we had a few tears, but you know, overall I think this was a success. And we're gonna put this in the oven for 25 to 30 minutes. All right, 25 minutes has passed, let's check it. So they should be golden brown. All right, I think we're good. Check the bottoms. Scared that they were burnt. Smells a little, a little toasty. Obviously, these are gonna be really freaking hot, so be careful. Might wanna let it cool down, unlike me. Let's try it. I think they've cooled enough. Now this is just a simple chimichurri sauce that I bought. It tastes pretty good by itself. So I'm gonna try this first. It is really, really freaking hot still. Not even gonna try to put that in my mouth. Pretty good. You can taste the squash. Coriander really comes through. If you're not a huge fan of coriander, just cut back on that a little bit. I do think it's needed though. Uh, I'm gonna dip a little bit of this chimichurri sauce in there. It's really good with chimichurri sauce. So it's a little spicy, you know, you can taste a little bit of the jalapeno. They're pretty good. This is my first time ever having an empanada. So I don't know what to compare it to. All in all, they're good. They're nice and lightly golden brown, a little flecky. Bottom's uh, nice and cooked. Will I eat these? Yes, I will. Would I make these again just like this? I would tinker around with flavors a little bit. Cut back on the coriander. Not a huge fan of that. Squash is good in it. Beans, you can't really taste those. I might add some kind of fresh herbs in there, like a cilantro or some parsley. All right, y'all, I hope you enjoyed this. I know I did. If you think you'd make it, hit a thumbs up. I'd love you for it. And as always, make sure to subscribe and comment and share and all that good stuff. I will see you all next time. Happy National Empanada Day.